Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you about a project that I worked on at Airbnb. Please make sure you are subscribed to this channel and stay tuned. Right now, um, so that you guys know, we're at a secret spot. It's called Pasta Armelino. It's right in Saratoga downtown, which is about an hour away, right in Silicon Valley from San Francisco. And the secret about it is that it's owned by a chef who has a Michelin star restaurant right across the street where apparently Apple has its board meetings. And in that restaurant, the Michelin star one, apparently a shot of vodka costs like $200 or something like that. But if you don't want to pay that, you just go across the street to this pasta spot. And pasta here is like $15 on average. It's really good. That was in 2015 and I had one of my last internships there. I actually was working on the Android team uh, because at the time when I was an intern, when I just learned to code, Android was my expertise because that's kind of how I started. I built an Android app. So I joined their Android team and I told my intern manager, so intern manager is a person you know that kind of supervises you through your internship or actually like manages you through your internship. So you have an intern manager and then you have uh, like a real manager of the team, but you're closer with the intern manager. And I told him, Christian, that was his name, Christian, I really want to also learn the backend world besides just learning the Android stuff because, um, you know, as a person who doesn't have a degree in computer science or in software engineering, I uh, just want to expand my horizons and I want to learn something else. And um, honestly, guys, like internships are an incredible opportunity to just learn a lot of stuff, learn a lot of skills, be a part of the company, be a part of the team, and just in general, um, you know, understand what you like doing. And speaking of which, I'm going to be hosting a webinar on how to get internships at top tech companies, which I personally have a lot of experience with. And this webinar uh, will be launching on, um, yeah, I'm like announcing it now and it's gonna start on June 21st. You should totally check it out at lifeofluba.com slash internship. There's gonna be a ton of valuable information about how to kickstart your career. So I told Christian, you know, I wanna learn something um, else besides Android. And the role of the intern manager besides managing you, is also make sure that you're successful in your internship, that you will learn something exciting to you. And different companies do it differently, but Airbnb was very flexible to, you know, cater my needs and interests, which was so amazing. So I ended up working on this really big project that is actually still in the app, which is super exciting. So, um, you know, at a company like Airbnb and um, at other big companies, they always try to make sure that interns do something that would actually be impactful. By the way guys, wanted to give you a sneak peek. I might be building out a studio in this space here. This is my boyfriend's new office. And you know, we'll see if I actually end up doing it, but I can just imagine, you know, a couch here, some cameras there, maybe some lights, microphone. Perhaps I would build out even a podcast studio when I bring people on Life of Luba live show that just launched and you should check out. So yeah, we'll see, but I'm super pumped. It's so nice here. I've heard people from Google say, interns from Google say that, oh, they worked on some small thing that was kind of scraped off um, after they finished their internship. And of course not to say that internships at Google are bad or anything, of course you like still learn a ton, but because Google is such a big company, uh, it's hard, you know, to have with so many interns give them all these projects that are actually gonna go to production immediately because it takes such a long time for it to actually go in production. So, <laughs> sorry, that was quite a ramble. Long story short, I was lucky for him to cater to my needs. So he gave me this project that was collaborative wishlist. And collaborative wishlist was essentially, you know, the wishlisting feature that there is there in Airbnb where you can hard listings or hard experiences and they will be saved to your uh, wishlist 
wishlist. So what this project was, uh, was making these wishlists collaborative. So the wishlist already existed and we wanted to make sure that you can add your friends, invite your friends to those wishlists and also have like upvoting features there. You know, let's say you're going on a trip with your friends and you want to pick where you're going to stay so that you and your friends can upvote a bunch of listings that you like so that you can actually decide where you want to stay and then people were able to comment on it also. So that was an amazing project because I got to build both the Android part of it. So how this collaborative push list is going to look like, how people are going to see it, like adding other people, collaborators to it. And I got a chance to build the APIs for it also. I was responsible for building all the APIs for this system. I was working in a team of, I think, four people. So it was myself. It was one web engineer and two iOS engineers. So what was really cool is that I was the only person building that uh, backend system that supported all these other engineers. So I was like a full on, you know, part of the team of full time employees. I was the only intern on the project and I felt really empowered. I felt like I had, you know, I had this project that was super impactful. That's going to launch to a lot of people. The other thing is that they actually announced it at this like annual announcement event at Airbnb that collaborative wishlist was a thing. So I was really proud of that, that, you know, I got to build the backend for it and build the Android site for it. That was just really cool. And that again, you know, speaks to the fact that even as an intern, you can have a lot of impact and you can create something that is going to be used by, in this case, actually like useful for billions of people. And that's why I'm such a huge advocate for uh, students, for people doing internships. And that's again why I'm launching uh, this webinar at lifeofluba.com slash internship. Um, so yeah, that was the project that, that was like my first ever project at Airbnb. And for those of you who already know me and my channel, I ended up going to Airbnb full time after that internship because internships are also an amazing opportunity to get a full time job afterwards. Yeah, check out the Airbnb app, I guess. This video is not sponsored by Airbnb. And check out the collaborative wishlist that I actually uh, built like four years ago. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my story. Thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe as always there's gonna be more stories um, more personal content more per content about tech and i also just launched my life of luba live series interviewing people so yeah i hope you liked it hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day and bye for now